20%. So that is how we shall get that 20%. When I've given you an exercise, you do, you hand in a mark, then those results will be part or, or copies will be sent to your name and copies will be retained by the school administration. So you have to, to be alert. You will do what, do your best in every exercise that you have been uh, given or that you are given so that uh, the, your performance is not uh, affected. Uh, I, was, I was trying to listen to yesterday's mathematics lesson and I picked a number of uh, comments that I should make you know that um, at, at times we make comments which, uh, which disorganize uh, the lesson and we should try as much as possible uh, to limit that. And of course, yesterday I was telling you, no, the other day I was telling you that we have, uh, you are about 300 of you. And now, for example, now I can see 164 of you participating in this lesson. Now, it is not possible for us to give you the, uh, the, 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 the audience or for us to give you the, uh, to give you, yeah, to give you the audience so that each one of you, uh, says something, it becomes um, uh, cost ineffective because you are too many. And by the time we start the lesson, we shall have ended it if we are to allow each one of you to contribute. So we shall ask you to be patient. Uh, if you have a question uh, to raise during the lesson, we shall be allowing a few, uh, a few chats. You can put it in the chat and uh, we shall re respond to it. But if you have uh, a burning question, you can possibly wait until the last few minutes of the lesson and then uh, we'll we, we, we shall allow you to, uh, to, to, to raise the concerns. Already I see Karema Shadia, your hand is up. I'll give you just one minute, one, one minute to say what you want to say. Karema, you are uh, you, you are given a chance to say something. Karema, are you in class or you put up the hand by accident? You don't seem to be in class. Okay, Nanzeri. Nanzeri says, we say whatever you want to say very quickly and we, we proceed. Teacher, what should I do if my home study book does not be have- Be loud and home... clear. Yes, what please. Should I do? What should I do if my home study book does not have chemistry? It, it does, have... it has, it has, it has. Every it book has... that we are given has. It doesn't. Are you talking about this one here? Yes. The check properly it is uh, right in the middle after. Um, it is after um, after biology. After biology, you should be able to see it. Check Teacher, it properly. It, it is there. I checked, but it only has three pages with chemistry. Oh, sorry, then that is a technical problem. We can address it when you come, but you have, you, you have the, the freedom to use uh, the one Mr. Amdala sent uh, to you. He has sent both copies, the prototype and then that, uh, that workbook. So you can use that one. All right, now, uh, before we broke off the other, the other time, I had uh, a simple assignment which I'd given you, and uh, I'm going to share the assignment that I gave, and then I would expect the. Also, I'll, I'll just talk about it. Now, the assignment was for you to to list down a few a few things. 
the, the, the solids. So for you to list down the solids, uh, the liquids, examples of the solids, examples of liquids, and then um, and then the the gases. Now, since you are home, I, I, I will not, of course, expect you to have uniform answers or uniform uh, uh, contributions. Uh, I'll, I'll give you my contributions, which I expected uh, you to give if you were at school, because I was uh, giving the examples when I was in the lab, laboratory, chemistry laboratory. So uh, my examples of uh, the solids would include things like uh, copper. Copper is an element and is a metal. It would include things like silver. It is also an element, it is a metal. It would include iron. It is an element, it is a metal. It would include sodium chloride because we have all of these, we have them in the chemistry lab. So since I was working within the chemistry lab, I decided to give these as examples of the solids that were easily around me, so that I could easily uh, get uh, get in touch. Now, of course, at home, at home there are quite a number of things that you can be uh, giving as examples of the solids. Uh, I would I would expect you to give. Uh, examples like because I know that each of you or each homestead should be having things like sugar, salt, and many other things. So those are some of the common things that I would expect uh, each home to, to have. So if you have mentioned the common salt, which is sodium chloride, well and good. If you have mentioned the sugar, because these, all these are in the solid state, uh, you could have mentioned the uh, glass, because you have glasses, those are solids, and many other things. I cannot uh, exhaust the list. Then uh, among, the, uh, among the list on the, on the liquids, I was also still working in the laboratory, so I gave examples of water is a, a very common liquid. Water is a liquid. Uh, I would also give examples like bromine. Bromine is an element. It's also in a good state. Then we have uh, mercury. Mercury, though, is a metal, but it is in a liquid state. It is the only liquid metal. The rest are solids. And then uh, we can also give, I also give examples like um, hydrogen peroxide which is a chemical compound found in the chemistry laboratory. But if you have ever gone to the sick bay, possibly you had the cut yourself and you wanted uh, the nurse's attention. If you went to the nurse, usually they wash the, 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 the wound uh, with uh, that, that liquid. Though we have uh, different concentrations, we don't use the very concentrated one because it can really destroy your skin. So there is a, a dilution factor which we normally use if it is uh, in the sick bay. So you could have come across it in the sick bay. I know every home can have access to paraffin or kerosene. So I expected you to give uh, things like paraffin. I know every home you use petrol in one way or the other when you are being picked from school or when you are bringing you back to school, you may use uh, either the vehicle, your parents' vehicle, and they can, the parents cannot drive it without putting that fuel. So either petrol or diesel, those are common examples of liquids I expected you to. Uh, then uh, when it came to gases, I expected every one of you to talk about oxygen. If you didn't put oxygen as one of the examples of gases, then uh, there is something that 
uh, that is not right because without oxygen in the atmosphere, you cannot be alive. So that should have been uh, gas number one, which you should have thought about. Uh, then we have others like hydrogen, which is uh, a very light gas and is an element, which is uh, the first element on the periodic table. I would expect you to give uh, things like uh, nitrogen is also an element and is in the gaseous state. Even in your primary, uh, primary level, you talked about the atmospheric air being a mixture of gases. Even when we are dealing with the previous topic, mixtures and their separation, we talked about uh, air as a mixture of, of gases. These included nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, rare gases, water vapor, and also some pollutants as a result of industrial activities. So I would have expected you to mention uh, nitrogen. I would expect you to mention uh, ammonia. Uh, though ammonia is not, uh, not, uh, not very common, but if you want to, if you use the uh, urinal place for some time without cleaning it thoroughly, uh, that is strong smell that you, you, you meet when you enter that place, which has not been washed for some time, is characteristic of uh, this gas ammonia. So I expect that uh, every one of you should be acquainted with it. And then, of course, uh, I expected you to talk about carbon dioxide because uh, that one we know that is very important in as far as uh, the manufacture of food by plants during photosynthesis is concerned. So those are the, the things that I expected you to, uh, to, 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 to write. Okay. Now, I expect that these ones, you write them in your notebooks. Whatever you have written, you don't need to, to cross it out. <coughs> write the date. You write the date, then you write um, uh, the, the, the assignment, the heading of the assignment. Put there the answers so that when you come back, you will take that notebook to your respective uh, teacher in class. If you are in one uh, central, you bring it to me. If you are in one uh, north, you give it to your teacher of chemistry in one north. The same applies to one west, one south, and one east. So you give the books to your relevant or respective uh, teachers. Those books should be containing uh, the assignments with their dates clearly, clearly written. Every assignment given must be having a date corresponding to the time when you did uh, that assignment. So. I expect all that one to be done. And to be unfortunate if you go to school when you don't uh, have uh, the notebook with those activities or assignments. Of course, I'm not saying that uh, you don't have to do the, the holiday work that we gave you. That one is also uh, part of the assignments when you are coming in. In fact, when you are reporting on the first day, if you don't have that one, that holiday work, you will be requested to go back home with your parent. You go and do the, the assignment or the holiday work. And then before you come back to, to school, we shall not allow you in school without that holiday work having been done. Even when you have paid your school fees fully, we expect you to do it um, before you report. Uh, yes, please. The work. Are we going to write in the books on the what is called? Oh, no, write in the books. For example, the, uh, whatever, whatever assignments we shall be doing, you can uh, write it, um, write it. Uh -huh. For example, if this is your notebook, I expect that where you stopped, where you stopped in class, on separation of mixtures, you can, if you didn't uh, finish the separation of mixtures, you can leave a few pages. Then you start the assignments that I'll be giving. Then for the holiday work, 
I would expect that you go to the back of your notebook, the back of your notebook, right from the back, and then you do the whole the work from the back coming uh, backwards. Okay. I hope that is clear. So hold the work at the back, and then uh, the assignments that we uh, the activities that we shall be doing, you put them uh, where you stop. You can leave one or two pages and you put it where you stop during uh, the normal uh, classes. I hope that is clear. Right. Um, I want to say something about, uh, again, the solids and liquids because it is uh, something that you, solids, liquids, and gases, was something that uh, you cannot avoid in, um, in our daily lives. You cannot, you, you, you should, if you have uh, the sight, because we, have, we can see, so you'll be able to see the solids, you'll be able to see the liquids, but you may not be in position to see uh, the gases. Just like in the atmosphere, we have uh, the gases that I mentioned, but you can, it looks like there's nothing in the atmosphere, but the gases are there. They are there, we have oxygen, <coughs> we have nitrogen, we have carbon dioxide and many others. So it is only uh, when the gas is colored, that you could be able to see it. And the common gas, which we have as a colored gas is uh, nitrogen dioxide. It is a brown gas and uh, the only one, the only brown gas. So when you see the brown gas, we know that one is nothing other than carbon, uh, nitrogen dioxide. Of course, uh, you may not have had it, this could be your First time you are hearing about nitrogen dioxide, but we shall see it in the course of time because uh, it's one of the topics that we do uh, in senior three. Right. Uh, so we 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 have to appreciate the fact that whether it is a solid, a liquid, or a gas, all of these are made up of small particles. Okay. For example, uh, if I can take water, which is a very good example, simple example, everybody knows uh, what water is. Now water can exist in the gaseous state as steam or water vapor. It can exist as a liquid under normal conditions, normal temperature and pressure. It can also exist as a solid. But what are the conditions that can make it to exist as a liquid, a solid, or a gas? Yesterday we exhausted that one. I mean, on Wednesday, on, on Tuesday, we exhausted that. And uh, it may not be uh, necessary for me to repeat, but we say that uh, we, we can hit the ice. When you hit the ice, the particles in the ice will, will turn into liquid. Now, all of these particles, whether it is liquid gas or solid, there are some forces which are keeping them together. Call them molecules if we are talking about water. So the water <coughs> molecules have got some forces which are keeping them together. If, they, if you put the water in a refrigerator and uh, of course a refrigerator, what it does is it cools the water. And cooling has got a number, a number of uh, uh, the number of ways that can, that where in which it can be in which it can be done. I can if I want the water to cool, I will put it in a refrigerator. Uh, I remember when we used to be in, in the primary primary schools, they used to serve us with the porridge uh, during break time and to devise ways and means of cooling it so that you go back to class without reaching late for lessons. So you would do, uh, take a, a, a large vessel, a plate, which is very large, so that when they put their porridge, within no time you shake it and it cools very fast, rather than uh, waiting to 
of course the fridge you cannot wait put it in the fridge because it will uh, spoil the fridge when it is hot so that was uh, the way how we were surviving okay so that is the way of putting but when you put something in the fridge in the refrigerator that means you you want it to cool down if you want if you put it in the uh, freezer of the refrigerator it means you want it to uh, cool down and become ice okay. so the the particles of the water will not have been lost when you when when you you cool the water until it freezes the same particles will be there but it is the forces that are keeping those particles together that are different from those which are in the water. And then there is, um, there is um, uh, a, a diagram that I'll be sharing shortly after this that will show you, actually it is in this workbook, where you find uh, on, on page, um, is on page, It is on page um, 21. I'm talking over the chemistry because different subjects have got different pages. So on page 21, we'll be seeing uh, uh, these diagrams here. They are actually <laughs> represent, they, they are human beings which are in those uh, diagrams or pictures. But uh, when you compare the human beings who, who are here, the way they are spaced, and those who, who are here, and those who are there, there is a very big difference. So the one on the on, on the one in this picture here is representing uh, how the particles are arranged in a gas. So the human beings are representing the particles of the gas. So here they are sparsely, you no, know, they, they are very far away from each other. When you come here in the liquids, this one will be representing the liquid state, where the human beings who are representing the particles of that liquid are, are, are separated from each other, but they are closer compared to the gases. And when you look at the particles or the human beings in this picture who are representing uh, the, the, the particles of the liquid, of the solid, here they are very close to each other. And as we talk now, of course, we are we are now under COVID uh, COVID times. So I would have expected that the base would have been uh, this one here. When you are in a, in a, in public, we need to uh, to separate or to isolate ourselves from uh, our neighbors so that we don't we don't uh, catch the uh, the disease. So that one is on, uh, in the workbook. That workbook home study learning, we shall be sharing it shortly. Then I also want to share something, uh, the animation also showing us how uh, these particles are arranged. First of all, I'll, I'll begin with um, the animation. I'll share the animation. Matter exists in different states, solid, liquid, or gas. It occupies space, has mass or weight. Right, that one we saw. Solids have definite shape and size. Atoms and molecules are closely arranged in a solid particle. Liquids do not have definite shape and size. The atoms and molecules are not bound strongly in liquids when compared to solids. Gas has neither definite shape nor size. It takes the shape and size of the container. So that one is giving you the, uh, the difference in the, the different... Uh states of matter whether gas liquid or uh, or uh, solid 
matter undergoes physical changes like melting and boiling under suitable conditions. The physical changes of water is shown here. Okay. Now, in that animation, you are seeing that we have one gram of water, but uh, in the different different states, it is uh, occupying. You can see the size is changing. Okay. The size is changing. When it is changing from solid uh, to gas, uh, the, the, the it becomes larger in size. And when it changes from uh, gas to liquid, the, the, the size is also different. Now, the funny part of it <coughs> is that uh, with water, when it is changing from uh, the liquid to solid, we, we, we would have expected it to, uh, to shrink, but instead, it increases in size. Whereas uh, when it is uh, uh, changing from the solid state to the liquid state, we would also uh, expect it to uh, have a bigger size as a liquid compared to when it is a solid, but it is the other way around. That is because of the arrangement of the particles that make up uh, the uh, the, 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 the water in the solid state. The arrangement of the particles creates that difference. Hydrocarbons on burning liberate carbon dioxide and water along with heat energy. For example, a candle on burning gives out heat energy. This is a chemical process called combustion. Now, in the previous one, in the previous animation, we were able to, for example, change the water to steam or change the water to ice and vice versa. In other words, we, do, we can change the water to ice and then we, we, we hit the ice and turns back to water again. However, in this example that we are showing on the screen, uh, the way the works, when the candle is burning, okay, you, you, cannot, you cannot recover the candle after it has been uh, burnt or after you have, you have used it. So uh, this is when we talk about the, uh, the chemical and physical changes. Okay. Copper 2 nitrate undergoes chemical change on heating to give copper oxide and nitrogen dioxide. Now the, the brown gas that you are seeing in that animation is the one I was talking of as uh, nitrogen dioxide, the only brown gas. When you hit copper, you see, we have very many chemicals, very many uh, substances in the chemistry lab. We cannot, we, even if you sat down, for the whole day, you cannot exhaust that uh, that list. If I kept on showing you that this one here is copper two carbonate, this one here is sodium chloride, you will not exhaust the list because there are too many. We we'll have all these substances in the chemistry lab. Now, the substance like this one, which was being heated, the copper two nitrate, it was being heated. It had a different color before heating, but now you can see it has turned into a different color after heating. Okay? That means that one is uh, uh, showing us uh, a chemical change. Okay? One, the color was, uh, it was somehow green before heating, or blue before heating. And uh, uh, during the heating, you saw the a brown gas being given off. There is no way you can now get that brown gas and you put it back together with the, the solid, the black solid that was formed, that is uh, copper, copper oxide. There's no way you can put them back together and you get the other original green or blue substance that we began with, that we were heating. So that means this, this is a chemical change. Yeah. And uh, uh, also others, Diffusion is a process normally observed in gases. Diffusion is a random movement so of gases. We are talking about diffusion. 
Uh, let me just play this video so that I don't uh, go back to the game. Bromine is a very volatile liquid. It easily vaporizes. The rate of diffusion increases with the increase of temperature. I'll be referring to those uh, diagrams in my ex uh, explanations thereafter. The random zigzag motion of gaseous particles is known as Brownian okay, now, movement. First of all, I will say something about this. That um, remember we said that the difference in the spacing of the particles in either solids, liquids, and gases are the ones which make them uh, behave the way they behave. For example, uh, in gases, gases, in gases, the particles of the gas are able to move from one place to another. For example, if you are in a room and then you put, uh, let me say ammonia, ammonia is a gas. When you put ammonia in one corner of the room, as you enter that room, you'll be able to, to, to smell it at another corner. That means the particles move and occupy the entire room. However, when you put a, a, a piece of, uh, you can put, say, talk of, talk of a piece of uh, copper to sulfate in a room, it will stay there because it is a solid. It will stay there until you you have to again move it from one to, uh, that place to another place. But uh, the fact is that in uh, solids, the particles uh, uh, have got they are closer together and they have the, uh, stronger attractive forces that are keeping them together. Yeah. Whereas in gases, those particles can be able to move freely as you are seeing that those uh, blue particles moving in that container. They are freely moving. Yeah. That one is, uh, we shall see it later, the Brownian motion, what we call the Brownian motion. So these particles are constantly moving. Those blue particles are representing the, the particles of uh, this gas, which is uh, diffusing. Now they, they are constantly moving. Even in liquids, the particles are constantly in random continuous motion. And uh, also in solids, except that the movement in solids is only restricted to uh, the vibrations within fixed positions. You remember the three photographs that I showed you uh, in this book. In the, the so in, in the um, in the home study book, uh, those uh, pictures were showing uh, diff uh, people sh uh, depicting different uh, positions in which they were placed to show or represent gases, liquids, and solids. You can see that. In gases, or the picture that was representing the gases, those people could be able to move from one place to another very freely. But in the solids, they cannot because they are so packed. They, can, they cannot freely move from one point to another. So they will be, the particles in a solid are restricted to the vibrations within fixed positions. I hope when I talk of vibration, you know what it means. The vibration is a to and fro movement. Right, so those are the uh, animations I wanted to share. There are many others, but we, shall, we cannot share all of them at the same time. Right, um, I will be sharing another screen where I have, I would expect you to again do an assignment. Of course, it is uh, the assignment that I'll be giving is in this book. But the way I have designed it is uh, the one as I want to use an, as, as an example is not going to be exactly the same as the one in this book, but it is similar. So I'll be just giving you as an example, and then I would expect you to do the one in this book the way I, 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 I have done the, the example. So that assignment is going to be
This one here. Yeah. You can see the, um, this is a solid one state of matter. This is a liquid, the second state of matter. This is a gas, this is another state of matter. And this, this is plasma, also another state of matter. I don't want again some people to misinterpret plasma, which is the state of matter, is different from the plasma, which is in the blood. So I don't want you to confuse the two. The plasma we are talking of here is a state of matter. And uh, in the previous lesson, we saw how plasma can be formed. For example, if you hit a solid, because the solid has particles, small particles, which are constantly vibrating. When you hit that solid, usually it can turn into a liquid. And that process, we gave it a name. And when you pull the, the liquid that is formed, when you pull it, it will turn back into the solid. And that process, we also talked about it, and I've, designed, I've given it a, a letter F. So in the in this uh, in this I mean, I mean uh, exercise, I would expect that at the end of it all, you name A process A, you name process B. For example, B is when you heat a liquid, it turns into a gas. So what is that process? And when you cool that gas, it can be able to form back the, the liquid. And that is E. So what is that process? Uh, just by following the way the, the arrows. Okay. Then uh, also the gas can be turned into plasma. When you hit the gas, you turn into plasma. You have given it a letter C, and that letter C is representing uh, a process which we named the other time. And uh, likewise, when you cool the plasma, you can be able to get back the, the gas. So we have given that one letter D. So in the, uh, and then the gas can also be cooled to form a solid without necessarily turning into a liquid. You can cool a gas and form the, a solid directly without turning into liquid. We also saw that change. And then the solid can also be heated to get a gas directly without first melting into the liquid. So you heat a solid and then turns directly into a gas. Now, when we are naming these processes, if a solid is turning into a liquid, that one we named it melting. Okay. Uh, so A is representing melting, where the solid is turned into a liquid. Then uh, the liquid turning into a gas, when you heat a liquid, that's when you heat water, it will turn into water vapor or steam. So that one is represented by letter B. So letter B is representing the change of state from the liquid state to the gaseous state. And we consider that one to be, if you remember, we consider the change from the liquid to the gaseous state to be vaporization. So B is representing vaporization. Then uh, we also changed uh, the gas. We heated the gas until it turned from the gaseous state into plasma state. And we gave it a name. If you remember, we called it ionization okay. and likewise we can also uh, turn the plasma back into the gas okay. we call it uh, recombination but you can call it or you can also call it deionization d d a b c d deionization d e and then ionization okay so that is the, the change from plasma to gas. Okay. Then uh, there is uh, where we found out that the, 
the gas or the solid when heated and turn directly from the solid state to gaseous state without necessarily turning into a state. And we give that uh, process a name. So G is representing that process and we named it sublimation. Okay. So uh, then um, there was also where we have uh, a gas turning directly into a solid. Okay. That is uh, given by 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 H. Okay. Remember, it's, it's, it's not a condensation. But this one here is different from condensation. Condensation is when uh, the gas turns into a liquid. So E would be the one which is representing condensation. Okay, the gas molecule particles turning into a liquid. When you cool the gas, you get a liquid. What would be that process? That process we call it condensation. Whereas the liquid to gas, we call it vaporization. How about gas to solid? This one, we gave it a different name. So we can, uh, in some textbooks, they talk about D sublimation. In others, they talk about deposition. Okay. So th that one is uh, a diagram which is representing the changes of state. I, I, I prefer to draw it like this so that uh, you don't get the answers directly from this uh, diagram of mine to the diagram that will be doing uh, in uh, the, this book here. Then now, um, yeah. mm -hmm. okay, okay. Now, when you compare that diagram with what is on page uh, page twenty uh, two, page twenty two of the workbook, there is no difference. It's the same. It's the same diagram. So I would expect you. Uh, to do this one here, okay, of course, by answering the questions that are there in your notebook. But you can make or we can make use of uh, the diagram which I've just shared. It will give you a clue on what to do. Okay, because we shared all these. There is a there uh, there is um, melting, vaporization. Uh, sublimation, desublimation, ionization, deionization, uh, condensation, and so on and so forth. So I don't want you to confuse them. So I drew a different diagram, but you are going to use the information in that diagram to answer uh, these questions here. Okay? Because the questions are, one of them is saying, but how many states of matter can you identify in the diagram, that one is quite obvious. So you should be able to identify those states of matter in that diagram that is in your book. Okay. So the, the, the questions will be answered in your notebook. Okay. Then um, the second one is talking of which of the states of matter do you think occurs naturally on earth and which ones does not okay now you, you should be in position unless you have um, uh, a different um, on your side but you should be able to to identify uh, the, the the states of matter that are very common or that uh, occurs naturally on Earth. Just look around you and you'll be able to see uh, some of these. Okay. It may be difficult a bit for you to see the, the gas unless it is, it is colored, like uh, nitrogen dioxide. That's why I showed you that uh, animation where there was uh, copper nitrogen being heated to form the nitrogen dioxide. 
And so that is showing you that uh, there are some gases also which can be uh, seen because of their color. Uh, so you should be in position to identify those <coughs> which you think occur naturally, and then those which do not occur uh, naturally. It will be unfortunate if one of you say the uh, liquid liquid does not does not occur naturally because every day if you don't use water then you cannot be uh, you cannot be comfortable. Okay. And uh, at, at all times, uh, we've seen you, especially when you're at school, you are constantly taking uh, juices and, uh, and those other liquids. So you, you, you can, you can uh, know which ones are natural occurring and which ones are not. Then uh, the last one is uh, talking of give at least three examples of the states of matter. Okay. The examples, of course, somebody may think it is uh, the same like number two, but it's different. Here we are saying the examples of those. So in this example, uh, in the previous screen, which I shared, in the previous screen, what could have happened? Sorry. In the previous screen, which I shared, uh, there was, um, let me just share it again. In that screen, which I shared, the, the same questions are there. Okay. The same questions are there. And uh, I've said you will be picking the exam, the answers from this. We have trees, we have milk, we have natural gas. Let me talk about natural gas. Possibly some, some of you may not be uh, knowing what it is. Uh, if you have ever gone to a swamp or a swampy area, you will be able to observe uh, some bubbles of gas coming from that stagnant water from the swamp. You'll be able to see bubbles of gas coming from the water and then uh, coming into the atmosphere. So now those bubbles contain what we call natural gas. Now in chemistry, uh, that natural gas, we refer to it as uh, methane. Of course, it has uh, quite a number of gases in it, but the, the one which is uh, uh, dominant is uh, methane, methane, M-E-T-H-A-N-E, -E, methane gas. Okay. So that is natural gas. Okay. Then I've also put there the stars. I hope you know that a star, I mean, the sun is also a star. The stars that you see in the sky at night, because you can't see them during the day. So the stars are, are also in that group, which you can pick. Are they examples of uh, the... the, the, the the solids, the liquids, the gas, or the plasma. And then we have sand, we have water, we have uh, carbon dioxide, then we have fluorescent light. If you are using uh, if you are using a tube, at school we have tubes, which we use for giving us light in our dormitories and in our classes. You can either use a bulb or the light bulb or a fluorescent tube. So that fluorescent, fluorescent tube will give out, out the fluorescent light. Okay. So that light, is it uh, a solid? Is it a liquid? Is it a gas? Is it plasma? Then we have oil, then uh, honey, honey which is made by bees. Uh, oxygen and then the, and then lightning. Okay. Now, if you took the trouble to read through uh, the the information other, as I requested much earlier, and I want you to make it a habit 
whenever you are going to class, whether it is chemistry or any other subject, read before you come to class. If you made it a point to, to prepare or to read before you came, you will be meeting all those uh, uh, things that I've mentioned. And the answers will come directly from, from whatever uh, list that I've given to answer those questions that uh, in, are in your workbook. Uh, I know, because I've seen quite a number of uh, chats, I'll be uh, going to the chats to see what people have communicated, and then I'll try to answer a few of your questions before the, 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 the lesson ends. Um, uh, from Mohamida, he is talking about there are many. If I skip yours, uh, you you may not have to, to complain. Okay, let me start possibly with the. Yes. People who want to know, okay, we also want to chat, but it's time for classes. That's true. Uh, thank you for respecting the uh, our rules for the lesson. That is Tovia, uh, Chen, and Apio. People who want to know about the assignment, check in the check the whole chat. That one is, is, is fine. Uh, Elisa, UHRA, now do you know now? These are the type of charts which I, 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 I don't want to, to, to see, it, okay? Because uh, these are you, you are, you are being very selfish if you, are, if you are talking about what we don't know. Uh, Amira on the page 22, right? That one is fine. Um, now, it is not only page 22, because when you, when you look at the, okay, let me put some light on that. When you look at right from, right from page, um, right from page 20, okay? This one here is what I, I went through. The first one is what I went through, where I was giving examples of solids, then uh, liquids and gases. So that means you even have this one here. Okay? So don't, don't confine yourself to page 22. I mean, 20, yeah, 22. Even page 20 has this which I expect you to, uh, to do. Um, when you go to uh, the next page, which is this one here, I've already talked about it, that those pictures, and there are some questions there. Question one says, which picture best shows the arrangement of the particles in a solid? I talked about it. And I expect you to pick the relevant picture. Yes. Then which one shows uh, the arrangement of particles in a gas? I also talked about it. If you are attentive in the class, so you should be able to take that one. And then uh, those which show the arrangement of the particles in a liquid, also I talked about it. So it means that one is also going to be part of the assignment <coughs> that will be doing. So don't, don't say you are only confining yourself to page 22. So when you come to page 22 that you are talking of, uh -huh, there is uh, this page 22, you have, uh, you, you have to make drawings. And uh, in my, in my, In one of the things that I shared, uh, this one here, 
I paid to draw, uh, you can see the drawings that I made. So I expect you also to make something of that nature to depict the arrangement of the particles in the solid, in the liquid, in the gas. Okay. So we have we have that one, and then you be doing this one, this other one, as um, the one on page at the bottom of page twenty-two. We'll just be concluding uh, the assignment that I'm talking about. Yes, please. Are you going to copy this one? Now I, I'm not now this. I'm not interested in you copying the uh, the notes. I just want the assignments only because the the notes. Uh, also, uh, these books are yours, okay? So I don't expect you again to uh, to copy the, the notes. I just want the answers to the exercises, like this one here, this one here, all those which I have mentioned. I don't expect you to copy everything. Just answer the questions only. Uh, Isabella says uh, we're doing activity 2.1. Yeah. Sun, neon light, fire, lightning, whistler. You are, you are, you are leaking, you are leaking the exam. Uh, Nami, Amina, you are leaking the, 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 the exercise. Um, Examples of, of plasma. Uh, now, you, you are, I, I hope people who are reading here will be will have taken uh, taken trouble to also find out. Now, remember, I was telling you that um, I don't know which page it was. The one which was requesting you to go to the internet. Uh, to find out more about plasma. Yeah, uh -huh. on page 20, on page 20, this one here was show, was telling you that uh, it was giving you a task that use the internet to research a state of matter called plasma, okay? And uh, we talked about it in details, okay? Um, so everyone should have done that. If you haven't done it, then it will be unfortunate because you, it means you haven't done the assignment. Uh, teacher, help us. We have a lot of questions. It is not a lot of questions. You have a day has got 24 hours. And if you plan it properly, these, not, these questions cannot take you even a even 30 minutes, because I've already taken you through uh, most of them. Uh, Naga says plasma is more like gas, but the atoms are different because they are made up of free electrons and ions of an element such as neon. Okay. Uh, what state of matter is the Is that Colgate? Colgate? I never come across that one. When you are writing, please don't write uh, Japanese, write the proper English language. Kathleen, please send me the assignment. Are you writing all that? Are you writing all that? I've given you the pages that you should. Uh, Teacher, what of Boss Estein uh, Condesit? Now, all, all of these, you'll find them. That one, you are trying to answer the task on page 20, which says use the internet to research on uh, the states of matter. It has all of that information because uh, I have I, I, I already done my, my, my part and expected all of that information. So when you mention them, it, it will not be uh, a surprise. Uh, can solids turn to plasma directly? Uh, that one, in the diagram that I drew, it, it, I didn't have any arrow uh, 
to that effect. So if there is no R to that effect, you just do no R, don't. Plasma is quite a matter so hot that the electrons um, um, look the way from the atoms. We have talked about that. In think liquid, what is that? Plasma, is it liquid? Toothpaste. Now we 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 have uh, there's no there's um, at times we may we may find it difficult to completely demarcate between uh, uh, the liquids and then the solids. For example, if if I gave you um, uh, a, a few centimeters cubed of mercury in a container. Much as we have said it is a liquid, but you may be you may find it difficult to call it a liquid because you may you may think it is a solid. But now we are saying that mercury is the only uh, liquid element. I was not there last time. Uh, we, we should try and be there. Are we going to write? Hi, husband. Now, the way they we don't write, we don't want those communications. You are being uh, very unfair to, to yourself and the rest of the members of the class. Sun and lighting are atoms of plasma. Yes, they are. Hey, you, 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 need, you need to meet husband. You met me now. Okay. Uh, it is. I am not. You see, the, the, the rate at which you are posting these charts is so high that uh, I may not uh, be able to look at all of them. I think light is a gas. Light is not a gas. Uh, who is R? Are we going to write the questions on page 23? I think I was clear with that one. Liquid soap, liquid mark, huh? liquid soap, is it a, a liquid? Ah, you see, if it's already called a liquid, liquid soap, then why do you want to call it plasma or gas or solid? In what state of matter is honey? We are trying to, to give, I don't want to give answers to the assignment, but you know, unless you know, you don't know what honey is. Yes. Okay, somebody has already assisted you and said honey is a liquid. And some other person is saying honey is a, a solid. Now, honey is a, a liquid state. Uh, does solid occur naturally on the earth? There, there are so many solids on earth. There are stones, there are uh, trees, there are, there are so many solids. So, you can't say that uh, uh, light is energy. We are, we are not talking of, uh, of energy. We are talking of the states, the states, liquid, gas, solid, plasma. So we are not talking about energy. Don't bring in uh, things that will confuse you for no reason. Uh, we are not talking about the polymers. Okay, what I need is whether a solid, a liquid, a gas, or plasma. Uh, fire under plasma or gas, there is no way you can put fire as gas. Now, if, if you were able to go to the internet to look at the, uh, the, 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 the task that you are given, uh, you know I me, mean? but in what state of matter is light? I, I talked about uh, the. I, I think I said I talked about fluorescent light. Fluorescent light, that one would be under uh, plasma. Uh, people who say I've not understood the whole lesson, uh, it looks like you are not uh, being fair to yourself and your parents because. You cannot be in class the whole one hour and you, you say you haven't understand the whole thing. And I want you to, 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 to behave next time. 
plasma is made up of electrons. We, 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 the assignment which I gave on Tuesday, we have already gone through it. We have done it. Uh, Ame is not a solid. I don't know how many times I should repeat this. Plasma is common in the sun and fire. That is true. Um, I think it is a liquid. I don't know which one is answering. Answer so, the answer is fire is plasma because you feel oxygen you get it. Not necessarily oxygen. Not necessarily oxygen. You can hit any any gas. Um, what state of matter is a toothpaste? Which has I have understood very well, thank you. Is honey a liquid? Uh, can you say plasma is possibly charged? Now, plasma has uh, those charges, but you cannot say it's possibly charged because the electrons that are that are ejected from the atoms are negatively charged. Then the ions from which the electrons are coming are positively charged. So we cannot talk of either positive charge only or negative charge only. It's a combination. If you do not understand, you should be fair to your parents. If you do not understand, it means you are instead chatting in the, in, the, in the lesson and not paying attention. Um, how do you draw plasma? You don't have to to draw it, but yeah, you can just imagine that because you cannot, you you have never seen plasma. You just can imagine the way the particles, the positively charged particles, mm -hmm. and the negatively charged particles are arranged in a solid. The other day I was showing you the positive ions next to the negative uh, electrons, and uh, they form. Um, or, 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 or the, that that uh, the, that combination of many of them positive and the many negative ions were forming many, many negative electrons were forming the, the plasma. Yeah. What is the sign of plasma? I don't know whether you are talking over the positive sign and negative sign, but I've given that answer. I said both positive. Uh, ions are present there, negative electrons are present there. Is aluminium a solid? Indeed, aluminium is a solid. Uh, a uh, nice. When it, you see, I, I say that times it may become difficult for you to do market because it's just like somebody can convince you that uh, mercury is a solid and you believe. But we have said mercury is a liquid. Uh, it's only unfortunate that we may not have seen mercury, but uh, if you have ever used a thermometer, mercury is used in thermometers, and when you put it in a hot object, you will see the mercury rising in the thermometer. And uh, that shows that. Um, what do you what do you mean or what do you do when you want to teacher you said that there are five states of matter but I see only the four now I have not said there are five states of matter these are your own words I said we have solid liquid gas those are the common ones then I said we also have plasma but there are also others which I which I don't want you to, 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 to give to confuse you. But you, I just want you to remember the three plus one, the plasma, the four. Solid, liquid, gas, and then you add the plasma. There are others which I don't want you to, to add because they will just confuse you. Okay. Just remember those four. Aluminium is not a is not a liquid. It is a solid under normal conditions. But you can heat it when it melts. That's when it can become a liquid. But under normal temperature and pressure, aluminium is a solid. 
it goes on the when you press it. You cannot press aluminium and it flows. It is only when it is heated that's yeah. when it can, it can liquefy. Uh, this one is not correct. Uh, it's not a correct statement. It flows on the way you press it. No. It can flow when you, have, you heat it until it melts. But now you see, we are talking of ordinary temperatures. When I talk of an ordinary temperature, for example, the temperature right now in, your, in the room where you are could be about 20 degrees centigrade or 25. Yeah, we, this is the normal temperature we're talking of. So under that normal temperature, if you had a piece of aluminium, it will be in the solid state, but not in the liquid state, as somebody is saying. And it can only be uh, turned into liquid when you have heated it to very high temperatures, very high temperatures indeed. But now we are talking about a temperature which is about 20 degrees centigrade or 25. That's room temperature. So aluminium will be a solid under those conditions. Yeah. Um, uh, you see now these charts are giving me uh, a picture that uh, there are quite a good number of you who are paying attention when we are in class, when we are discussing. It is also showing me that there are people who are just uh, take, taking it for fun and uh, you uh, trying just to write whatever they feel, but you are going to get surprised when you report at the beginning of the term and you have not been uh, paying attention in these classes. Because we are in addition to the, uh, to the assignment, that we have given, which are also expected to produce the holiday work. And uh, when the term opens, we shall subject you to beginning of term test. And we shall not get it from anywhere. We shall get it from the things that we are discussing in this short holiday. So you find the work set and you'll be ready to, to do the exam and you should be ready to answer. So if you are uh, taking it for granted and just playing around when you're in class, you better become serious so that you don't get disappointed. But if you cannot get disappointed so that you don't disappoint your parents. Because they are putting in a lot to make you attend this lesson. So make use of the of that chance. Don't, don't, don't write things which are not coordinated. Yeah. Uh, so that is um, what we can do for today, but uh, just for the sake of a person who, who came later and wanted to know where the assignment, assignment is, you start on page, on page 20 here. Okay, this one, we have already done it. We began with this one. I gave you my 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 position in as far as the example is given here. So I expect that this one you have already done it, it is in your books. So we are beginning with this one here. Then you come to this one here concerning these pictures. Then you go over the page and uh, is that one there? And then there's these questions also. Now, when we meet, uh, for example, I think we are meeting tomorrow, that will be before possibly we start the lesson, you should be able to tell me where uh, the challenges are so that we address the challenges before we go into the details of whatever we want to do. Now, never brand yourself that you have, uh, you have too much work. There is nothing like too much work. You only have to get commit committed. That's the commitment 
and all, also at the back of your mind, you should know that uh, there is uh, something who is behind your stay or your education. And those are your parents or your siblings who are assisting you and don't disappoint them. So I want you to be having that one at the back of your mind so that uh, when we say prepare, you don't have to disappoint anybody by not preparing. So for today, we can stop here. Thank you. We need more. Thank you.